Hello everyone, and welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. On the last episode, I decided that I wanted to uh, hunt down some geoglyphs. Uh, so I took the liberty of finding out where the next one in the sequence is, and it appears to be this one. Which... I guess... is Sonia? Um, I... These things are too stylized. I can't really tell what they are. Like, I, gu I guess the idea is that, like, someone who's in tune with the culture of that, of that period in Hyrule history would understand the motifs at play here. But, uh, I am not that, so I, I, I do not know what is happening. But, either way, uh, it looks like we are looking at this spot right here. So let's take a look, see what happens. Right. Are you well? You seem a bit distracted. I apologize. I keep getting lost in my thoughts, thinking about how I can return home. With your power over time, if I were able to learn that kind of control, I might be one step closer to my era. I see. The secret is to think of it like drawing out the object's memory. You ask the object where it was, how it arrived where it is now, and then you coax it back to that original moment in time. The object's memory. I notice they have the same color eyes. Most like second nature, and you will be able to find your way home. But Zelda, there is more on your mind than just that. You, of course, do want to get back to your time. But you also desperately want to help us out in this era. Am I close to the truth? How did you know? <laughs> I do not believe it is possible to keep anything secret from Sonya. <laughs> oh, your concern is very sweet, Zelda. But listen, you can focus your attention on returning home. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. Both of these powers will help you protect your own era. Queen Sonia! And of course, you must make it home safe to put Link's mind at ease. Link? That is not a name I have heard. He is a royal knight. He had been originally appointed for my protection. But later, he became a hero by saving both me and Hyrule from a great evil. Oh, a hero is he? He is so very dedicated, and he refuses to back down from any challenge. Yes, because I can just reload my save if I get thrown strong. off a cliff. <laughs> and his heart is good and true. Ah, I can see that you have absolute faith in him. Hearing you speak so highly of Link, I find myself wanting to meet him as well. Indeed. I would also like to meet him. He must be quite the brave, courageous knight. What a picture Zelda paints of him. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So that's interesting. Uh, her, Sonia, her power was basically like the reversey thing that I have, which we were able to master quite quickly. 
I, I assume that's... I guess that's because of, like, you know, Zelda gave it to us and she imparted her knowledge of how it works. But, I don't know. Um, maybe that could be relevant in some way. Uh, okay, so it looks like a scimitar. And where is it on the map? Oh, okay. Uh, so that's, like, way to the south... Southeast. Alright. But yeah, so, like, either it was something that Link managed to get a hold of pretty quickly, or it was, like, when Zelda gave us that power, it was at a point where she had mastered it, which would make sense, because it appears to be from a Zelda who has already mastered the ability to time travel. So, hmm... Guess that's why I'm doing these geoglyphs, is because I, I want to find out more. So let's go find out more. Uh, don't know if I can make it to those islands. That is awfully far away. Even if I can just get to one of these little guys, that should be good enough, I think. Yeah, we're fine. Whoop! I nearly walked myself right back off. Alright. Um, okay. There's probably a shrine. Oh, yep, right there. Great. Uh, I, I, cum, cumin, the cumin shrine. Uh, see the connected, uh, yeah, the, 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 the. I can read, but I choose not to. Oh, I thought it just didn't spawn the beam for a second. Oh, great, it's on on the guy, the, the flux construct. All right, that's fine. Let's just go kill it. It's a, number th it's a flux construct three. Easy. I think that'd just be better. Yeah, 52. Um, okay, so now I gotta carry this thing back. Hmm. This is risky. But it's worth a try anyway. Oh, it's got a stake on the back. Great. I think it shouldn't be that bad if I, uh, do that. If anything, I think the concern is that it'll go too far and launch off the other side, but... Let's give it a try. Nope. It's fine. Perfect. Alright, Rauru, I got your blue crystal. Uh, I don't know what you want it for, but here you go. Mm, I imagine this will be another blessing. Hmm... Might as well just swap it out for this one, just because I've used that one a couple of times, so its durability isn't as high. Excellent. I wonder... How many times you can upgrade your sages with the sages' will? I I know that was a couple episodes ago now, but I just I popped into my head when I saw the light of blessing show up, uh, just because like I upgraded two then, and now I wonder if it's gonna let me upgrade them again, or if I if if I can't if you can only upgrade them once. Given how rare they seem to be, I wouldn't be surprised if you can only upgrade each one once, but even still, I do wonder. Alright. It does look like a Gerudo Scimitar, so I'm wondering if this is like a battle site? I don't know. I guess we'll find out.
All right, Zelda. We are alone as you requested. What was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? <laughs> you are far too trusting. <laughs> Oh my. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. That is quite out of character for the Zelda I know. But then you are a puppet of Ganondorf. Did you really think we hadn't realized your deceit? I thought it was someone in disguise, but nope. Oh, okay. All right. Dang. Got double double played. a bit doofy there for a second. But interesting. Okay. I guess that answers the question of how Zon Sonia died. Yeah, I... Hmm. That was interesting. Um, okay, so... Wow, okay. So this is the one where he he was looking at Sonya's grave. So there's like a couple of memories in between then. That's interesting. Kind of wonder what, what would have happened in the meantime. Guess let's go find out. Whoops. If I can figure out how to... Oh, there we go. So it looks like next one is Blight Ganon thing. That is far to the north in Hebra. Okay. Well, guess let's get going. So, like, they. So I guess Ganondorf, you know, he he played the "you're far too trusting" card, as opposed to just you know springing the trap, which I mean, uh, L. <laughs> For one thing, you should have just made your move, I guess. But, you know, for the drama, I suppose. Um, and then, also, like, he... He, he, pulled, he pulled a fast one on him. Like, he distracted him from the... From, you know, with the puppet. And then actually stabbed her from behind. Like, I guess he teleported in? I don't know. I, I guess... If they thought that he could make a realistic puppet like that, maybe they shouldn't have gotten cocky and over underestimated his power. Because, uh, yeah, I would think that teleporting like that would be fairly straightforward for someone capable of making puppets like that. Or maybe not even teleporting. Maybe he just, like, made himself invisible or something like that and just hid around while the puppet did all the distracting. Though he did show up awfully quiet. I don't know. Either way, uh, like, dang, Sonya really just got ganked like that. That's a little distressing. Guess, uh, let's see, let's see what happens now, because I think, like, the really important thing is that Ganondorf now has a secret stone, and what can he do with that, I wonder? Because Sonya said that they amplify your power, but she didn't say anything about whether or not it like only responds to certain owners or things like that. So, 
Hmm, guess let's find out. Queen Sonia! Queen Sonia! Finally. Finally, it is mine! Don't like that. Really looking like demise now. now what happens to the Gerudo. I imagine he just sort of tosses them aside now that he has a stronger army. Sonia! You were too late, Rauru. You took for granted the godlike power you had in your hands. Do you now see the potential you squandered? As for her, she is merely the first victim of your arrogance. You tried to control me, Rauru, and you will die knowing that you failed. Can I die? Prince Sonia needs you. I think it's a little late for that, isn't it? No, do the do the do the big laser thing. Maybe help, Zelda? I feel like you could have done more than that, but okay. That would sure be a horrific sight. It's a massive crimson moon looming over your head suddenly. It's like a, it's like a blood moon, but it looks like it's even bigger and more awful. <laughs> huh. All right. So Ganondorf grabbed the secret stone and gained. Uh, quite a bit of extra power. Definitely concerning. Let's see, the next one is the secret stone. All right, so that's at the far western or far eastern edge of the map. All right, uh, let's do that one, um, and then uh, I kind of want to do some of these shrines, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to let this episode run a little longer. 
In fact, this will be the secret stone, the the the, 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 the memory episode. Like, we'll just go around collecting all the memories. Yeah, the here's fine. And... Just because, like, there's only a couple left. Pretty sure there's only three more. So, yeah, this one's going to be longer. But, um... We'll get all the secrets... Or, all the... I keep doing that. All the... The memories out of the way. And learn what happened in the past. And then who knows? Maybe it'll unlock, uh... Another quest to, like, you know... Finish up that that little storyline uh, a la Breath of the Wild can I make it to the tower so let's, uh, let's restore our stamina here and in fact I think I see a spring right there use that to launch ourselves closer to the tower there we go What's going on here? That looks sort of Korok-ish. Do I have to like unplug it by dropping it off a cliff with some heavy weights attached? Exactly that. Alright, cool. Uh, now let's continue. Hey, I needed that. I'm mostly getting my, uh, my crystallized charges from the Lynels at this point. But that's partially just because I, uh, I haven't really gone on a farming mission in a while. Because I've been exploring. Now that I think about it, it was particularly silly of Ganon the... Oh, actually, you know what? That could have been some extra sneakiness on his part. I was going to say, it was kind of silly for Ganondorf to use a Zelda puppet. Because, like, obviously the real Zelda is going to get involved. But then it's, you know, the, the play was that he was making it super obvious that there was a... He was pretending to be Zelda, even, you know behaving unusually, as Sonia said, although whether she was referring to more than just that particular particular statement. Oh! Didn't mean to press R there. I uh, just slammed my brain into the ground. That's probably good. Um, but anyway, it's like, yeah, no, he, he makes a big show of like, oh, look, this is my play. I'm gonna do this. And then, you know, when they, they thwart the plan, let their guard down, that's when he strikes. So, okay. I I can definitely see that. Although, I still think that it was it was silly of Sonya and Zelda to think that that was all that he would try. I also have to wonder exactly how powerful those secret stones are. Like, could could they not like reverse time on Sonya and whatever Ganondorf did, and like un wound her, I guess? I don't know. Probably not. And I'm probably overthinking it, because you know, that's what I do. <laughs> but, still, I, I guess I don't really... I still don't really understand these secret stones terribly much. Although, we do have a bit more information now. Uh, they said that they amplify the power that already exists within a person. And the fact that Ganondorf was able to just take Sonya's and use it does confirm that it doesn't really care about who wields it. Um, and that in itself is rather interesting to me because uh, that's also something that has come up as an important detail about the Triforce. Uh, where it it, um, it doesn't really so much uh, like it sort of amplifies what's in your heart. So, you know, it, an evil wish will, will bring great evil. Uh, and, you know, a person with an un... an incomplete soul, I guess, who doesn't exhibit all three characteristics of the of power, wisdom, and courage will, you know, the Triforce will break and, and scatter and things like that. And so it, it sort of magnifies what's already in you and it also doesn't care 
uh, what your soul is like. It, like it just whoever touches it gets a wish. Doesn't matter if it's good or evil. Oh, all right. Something going on here. Hello, Ms. Goddess. Devout swordsman who offers his prayers. Here's my plea. I can no longer sense the presence of the Mother Goddess statue which dwells in the vast canyon. I would ask you to go to that land and bring tidings of me of the Mother Goddess statue. Please, I beg of you. Uh, yeah, about that. Um, okay. Um, yeah, so... That one has kind of... Uh, been toppled, I'm afraid. Uh, not looking too good at the moment, but I don't want to have to climb this friggin' mountain again, so we'll come back to that later, I think. The Nehru Skyview Tower. Is this one just working? Great! Loving the sunrise. Guess now let's uh, make our way towards our original destination. Hmm. This is quite a device. Yes, yeah, not bad can't really go down very well, but it's alright. Certainly do for island hopping. I wonder what determines the order in which the batteries drain. Alrighty. I guess this is the one where Zelda learns more about her secret stone. King Raru, we just received word that the lost free village in the Gerudu Desert has fallen. <sighs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. Raru, the Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. Mm. But you are not alone. You have the Gerudo, <laughs> Goron, Zora, and Rito <laughs> leaders as well as Zelda. And of course, you can count on me. There's something I'd like to show you all. It's an interesting looking door. Is that... Is that the door that we opened to get into the map room? Oh, yep, I guess so. <laughs> Stand with me. I need all your aid. Still wonder what's up with the masks, though. Rio, get 
gathered here swear on our lives to serve Bravo, the King of Light. King of Light, you say? Hmm. I mentioned in a previous episode that I encountered a dragon of light. So... I guess that could theoretically be Rauru. Oh, no, because we saw his spirit uh, at the beginning of the game. Um, alright, and then... This is the next one, where we saw Sonya's grave. Uh, so I guess... Uh, let's find out what the next one is. It's, uh, Mr. Sword. That's interesting, though. There are more memories after that. Like, a lot more. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll worry about that later. And I, I would guess that Mr. Sword is the last one, yeah, up at the top there. Great, let's go. I'm guessing it's probably near the Lost Woods. Because that's where the Master Sword usually hangs out. Um, I'm not seeing it. Let's try to make it to that island. Punish stamina. I think I can just barely make it. That sucks. Okay, well, um, let's try that again, shall we? Yoink. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. Didn't think that would actually be something that important. <laughs> Alright, so let's make it to that tower. What the frick is going on over there? Definitely doesn't look good. Although, really... Nowhere in Hyrule is looking like it's doing that good right now. Hmm. That's interesting. This is a lone cherry blossom out here in a volcano. Hello. What beautiful scenery. Konora. Oh, you're that traveler from the other day. Did you come to see a cherry blossom tree? Yeah, are you the one that was sitting by the, the Gerudo Tower? Is there anything more relaxing than watching cherry blossom trees? It really puts me at ease. I haven't seen a Satori anywhere, but these beautiful trees have made the trip worth it all the same. Uh, she, yeah, apparently it's very rare. I wonder if I could do anything to coax it out of hiding. Um, not here, I don't think. What was that? Oh, it's... Oh, did I not? Did I not get a picture of the carrots? I don't know. I thought I took a picture back in Kakariko. Hmm? Maybe he wants a carrot, because there's a carrot here. No? Oh! I thought that would be a Korok, but I guess this also makes sense. Hello. Good to see you again. Oh boy. Wow. There's uh, lots of stuff to do some other time. Let's uh, try and hit him with beacons. Probably gonna miss him by a mile, but. It's worth a try, anyway.
Alright, we'll worry about that on a future episode. Hmm. There's, a uh, There's another... Satori beam. Way out there. Tell you what, I'm gonna get the tower, and I'm going to... Just remember that that's there. <laughs> we'll get the memory, and then we'll, uh, we'll go. Also, this is the, the, the super dark place, isn't it? This is the place that had, it was just like permanently dark. Typhlo ruins, yeah. Hello. Hello, looks like we meet again, eh? Sorry, the Skyview Tower's out of order. Maintenance is proving tricky. Terminal starts so Skyview isn't working. I've checked all the terminal's parts, but so nothing looks broken. I wonder if something to do with the tower itself is broken. Um. I. I guess I wouldn't know. Ah. That explains it. Go away. You're a Rito. Why didn't you just fly up here and check it out yourself? I guess he wouldn't have been able to do anything about it even if he had. is a bit of a pickle. Yeah, that wasn't even close. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, maybe I can, like, land... Yeah. No, this should be fine. Easy. Oh, well. The terminal, it's working again, even though I didn't do anything. Yeah, there's a thing blocking it. There's something blocking the top of the Skyview Tower? The terminal and the lid on top of the tower are connected, so if the lid wouldn't work because it was blocked, I guess the terminal wouldn't work either. Everything seems to be working properly, so I'll head out. Yep. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Happy to help, especially since it helps me. Alright, let's get going. Let me actually do the thing first, though. <laughs> It'd help if I remembered how things work. Whoa! They are all over the place. Not okay. All right. Well, good to know. I wonder if there are places like that at all of the cherry groves. Like if I go back to the Gerudo one. Ah! Sorry. I don't know why it keeps doing that. But if I go back to the Gerudo one. Maybe I can do the same thing there. Schwingo. Um, if I can, I'll try and find a... a what you, who's, hey, there's our, our geoglyph. The uh, shrine, that's the word. Let's, uh, let's just open it up for now. We'll, uh, we'll come back to this one on the next episode. Actually, you know what? This is probably going to be a blessing, so I'll just get it between episodes. It's interesting that the Triforce mark on the Master Sword is actually made by these little teardrop shapes. Alright. Ah, come on. Stab it. managed to restrain him somehow. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. Gotta try. Thank you. 
Hmm. It's on the ground now. Oh, is that when I sent the Master Sword back in time? That way. Master Sword. How is the Master Sword? You're telling me that Link is safe? You traveled through time to find me and recover your strength. <gasps> Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. I know why I am here. Could you fill me in, please? can do uh, how okay we will finally stop him yeah let's get him to become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself uh -huh. I'll be forever changed do. So it sure does sound like Zelda did in fact become the Dragon of Light, as I hypothesized in the previous episode, I think. Maybe it was this one. I don't know. I've been recording for a while. Come on, man! Stop it! Maybe my Joy-Cons are running out of battery. Well, There's a thing happening. Yep, there you are. Hello. Oh, come on. Please, not now. Uh, fine. I'll just switch back to the Pro Controller next time it happens. There we go. Oh, no. Dragon's Tear. See the dragon's tears. Eh, eh, come on! You visited all eleven geoglyphs and witnessed all the memories of the dragon's tears. Afterward, a light dragon appeared above you and shed a new tear. The tear seems to have fallen to the Rist Peninsula in the Akala region, or Akala region. Excuse me. I now have a definite pronunciation on that from uh, Age of Calamity. Okay, interesting. Um, so I'd say that's some pretty solid evidence that the, the Light Dragon is, in fact, Zelda. Uh, and she seems to think that she wasn't coming back to... I guess let's go to the Rist Peninsula. We've, uh, we've still got plenty to do in this game. And uh, we've got to get cracking on it. So, yep, yeah, on the next episode, I guess we'll head on over there and see what's going on uh, with the Dragon's Tear. So until then, see you later.